The state of New York has passed a strict law that requires mandatory sexual harassment prevention policies and training. As part of the 2018-2019 New York State budget, the governor and the legislature have agreed to legislation aimed at combating sexual harassment in the workplace, Part KK of S7507-C. All employees must complete the model training, or a comparable training, that meets the minimum standards by January 1st of 2019. Employees must be trained at least once per year. In subsequent years, this may be based on the calendar year, anniversary of each employee's start date, or any other date the employer chooses. The Human Rights Law now protects contractors, subcontractors, vendors, consultants, or others providing services in the workplace from sexual harassment. Beginning in October 2018, employers must adopt a sexual harassment prevention policy and training, or use a similar policy and training that meets or exceeds the law's minimum standards. Every employer in New York State is required to adopt a sexual harassment prevention policy. An employer that does not adopt the model policy must ensure that the policy that they do adopt meets or exceeds the following minimum standards. The policy must prohibit sexual harassment consistent with guidance issued by the Department of Labor in consultation with the Division of Human Rights. Provide examples of prohibited conduct that would constitute unlawful sexual harassment. Include information concerning the federal and state statutory provisions concerning sexual harassment, remedies available to victims of sexual harassment, and a statement that may be applicable to local laws. Include a complaint form. Include a procedure for the timely and confidential investigation of complaints that ensures due process for all parties. Inform employees of their rights and all available forums for adjudicating sexual harassment complaints administratively and judicially. Clearly state that sexual harassment is considered a form of employee misconduct and that sanctions will be enforced against individuals engaging in sexual harassment and against supervisory and managerial personnel who knowingly allow such behavior to continue. And clearly state that retaliation against individuals who complain of sexual harassment or who testify or assist in any investigation or proceeding involving sexual harassment is unlawful. Let's go over the training requirements. Every employer in New York State is required to provide employees with sexual harassment prevention training. An employer that does not use the model training developed by the Department of Labor and Division of Human Rights must ensure that the training they use meets or exceeds the following minimum standards. The training must be interactive, include an explanation of sexual harassment consistent with guidance issued by the Department of Labor in consultation with the Division of Human Rights, include examples of conduct that would constitute unlawful sexual harassment, include information concerning the federal and state statutory provisions concerning sexual harassment and remedies available to victims. Include information concerning employees' rights of redress in all available forums of adjudicating complaints. Include information addressing conduct by supervisors and any additional responsibilities for such supervisors.